In the same way the internet helped democratize the access to information around the world, blockchain helps democratize the access to financial services. What I mean by this is that today, especially in emerging markets, uh, the vast majority of the population doesn't have access to financial services, opening a bank account, credit services, having a credit card, a debit card, etc. And that is detrimental to economic growth and economic development in most of these countries. There are lots of challenges that there are many countries that are experiencing. I spoke specifically about the de-risking challenges, which is being faced by a number of countries um, in the Caribbean, which is now spreading. And so from that aspect, we have to figure out how we're going to deal with those particular problems. In my view, uh, use of blockchain-based technologies can actually help those problems be solved. And I think they can reduce the burden of compliance for many countries and companies, actually, who are struggling to keep up with that burden, which is increasing costs. And if we can reduce that burden through uh, technology, I think that's something that is excellent. And it would be great if the OECD could promote that, as they promote many other things. And I think that the battle against financial crime <laughs> is, I think, it's also important to make sure we have a battle for financial inclusion. And I think that's important. And I do not believe that the two should be mutually exclusive. So blockchain technology helps emerging markets leapfrog from an outdated technology to the latest technology without the need of going step by step through the technological revolution, let's say. So I will give you an example. The same way we do not need copper cables uh, for telephone uh, services, we do not need uh, to go through each of the stages. Blockchain today allows us, for example, for remittance services. Uh, Latin America is one of the biggest remittance markets in the world, with 75 billion US dollars within the region. It's the only place in the whole world where you have more than uh, 15 countries speaking Spanish with the same religion, same culture, so uh, mobility of people is, is quite a lot. Enabling a system with very cheap remittance um, uh, services is a great advancement in terms of economic growth. So today, uh, the existing solutions are, let's say, Western Union, very costly solutions, not secure solutions. And for people that do not have banking services, need to access um, other types of services that do not provide a seamless, seamless movement of capital for them. So a person in Paraguay that wants to send money to her family back in Mexico has the trouble of going to actually a Western Union with her cash, which you know is, is a security uh, problem for that person, and pays a higher fee to their family in Mexico. Now with a high smartphone penetration in the geography, you can send cash from electronic cash uh, from Paraguay to Mexico in a seamless and costless way, or less costly way, let's say.